um, this piece that I'm inserting right here is, oh, is um, a tongue retractor blade, and I can't get it to go all the way up, but same idea as the other one. This holds the tongue down. This goes towards the maxillary side. Whoa. All right, so this is a green retractor. This is used to, um, this is used in, in thyroid procedures to um, pull things out of the way. It looks very similar to the Barnhill Adenoid Curette, but these are not the same thing. This one moves stuff out of the way. This one will cut stuff out. Um, and has an open handle. Uh, she said most of the, the most of the ones she she has seen has this kind of handle. And we have a herd dissector retractor. This end is for dissection. This end is for retraction. It's a little spoon end here, and um, it is used to move the uvula out of the way. These are ear speculas or frerer specula. Um, you just you use these to look into the ear. This is a nasal speculum. Insert into the nose, and you just look up in there and investigate what's going on. This is a barren suction with a stylet. It has an oval piece right here, um, so this is different from the Fraser. It's got the same shape, but this is not the same thing, obviously. Um, use it for suction, obviously, and this is the stylet. It's used to clean gunk out of the suction, um, just anything that might get trapped up in there. And then this is a bayonet forcep. You use this to put cottonoids in the nose and to take them out. Then we have a myringectomy knife. Um, this is, you take this off. Uh, it's very, very, very sharp. Um, this is disposable, comes in a peel pack, and you insert this into the ear and you cut um, the place where your tubes are going to go. So here we have ear tubes. That's what I. Yeah. Well, this is just one ear tube. Comes in this little pack right here. See that little black dot? That's the ear tube. I'm gonna close it. I'm gonna pick it up with this ear forcep. I think it, we decided that's what it was called. And I don't know the correct way to pick this up. I'm just trying to pick it up to give you a better visual. I mean, you can't, it's so small. Where's the, oh, it's on this side. It's so, so small. But that is the tubes. That's the tube that goes inside of the ears. So when you hear someone say, oh yeah, I had to get ears or tubes put in my kid's ear, that is actually what it is. I always thought it was bigger, which, I mean, it makes sense. Little kids have little ears. Uh, this is a nasal dressing. It just goes up in the nose, has a string here um, that you try to hopefully, it doesn't get lost up in there. But it's pretty big. This, these are trachs. These are the boxes they come in. And trachs, they just, I mean, this just goes in the hole in the neck right there. And this is just all the stuff that comes in the package. So we also have Q-tips, very fancy, long wooden stick with a Q-tip end. And those are obviously sterile. And then this is a nerve stimulator. This is the package. 
Um, oh, this is coming undone. It, this, this is very sharp right here. See that? Put that back so I don't stab myself. Um, you use this, this end right here to find, to locate the nerves in the face. Um, because you want to know where they are so you know that you're not cutting them. So it kind of makes the nerves, it stimulates the nerves so that you can see them. Because nerve damage to somebody's face is not good, obviously. And we want to do everything we can do to prevent that. 